what I have seen borders on miraculous because of the way a horse reaches to the heart of somebody like no therapy ball ever could. I have seen kids that have come in a wheelchair and couldn't hold themselves up within six months and they're sitting up and holding their head up on their own. I mean, that is just incredible to me. What I really like best about coming is being with everybody and working with the horses and really learning how to take care of them and ride. I want you reaching for one of the balls, and if you can't reach it, Faith is going to make you stretch for it. I got you. Oh, nice stretch. Good job. Good stretch, good stretch, good stretch. Get it, get it. <laughs> Equestrian Crossings was formed in 2009, and it came out of the desire to have a program that could meet the needs of a diverse community on Woodby Island, as well as people that want to come from off island. Nice and close to the wall. EQX's mission is to provide horsemanship activities in a safe and fun environment for people of all ages and all abilities and disabilities. There we go, much better. We are one of the few programs in the country that actually integrates both able-bodied and special needs into the same lessons. We design our lessons around the students' abilities, not their disabilities. Not only do we have Western and English riding, we also offer adaptive riding and hippotherapy. Pull yourself even taller. The difference between adaptive riding and hippotherapy is that in adaptive riding, we're actually teaching how to ride the horse. Good, and walk on. Keep those legs back. Go ahead and walk on. Hippotherapy comes from the Greek hippo, which means horse. It is using the horse as a skilled therapist, whether it be physical, occupational, or speech language pathologist, to utilize the movement of the horse to achieve functional rehabilitation goals. The movement of the person's pelvis on the horse mimics the person walking on the ground. In the clinic, I'm lucky if I maybe get 30 to 60 repetitions, I put somebody up on the horse and we're up in the thousands of steps and repetitions through their pelvis in a 30 to 45 minute session. So someone that's been wheelchair bound their entire life is now up on a horse moving as if they were walking and they get wonderful input into their core musculature, their posture, their head and neck control. Feel okay for your back? I'm gonna take a deep breath. And Greg, I'm gonna have you just push gently on the top of her knees with an elbow and forearm. There you go. Being on the horse has really helped me to be able to work those muscles and to get stronger. It really seems to help me out. Awesome, good work. Nice job, Haldor. I've volunteered here for the past two years. I work as an occupational therapist with uh, some of the children. We can work with kids with a variety of disabilities and developmental delays such as autism, cerebral palsy, Down syndrome. We can even use the time for prepping the horses like reaching while we're brushing the horses and grooming them. We talk about how to care for the horses so there's activities of daily living involved with that. And I think that side looks absolutely beautiful. We're really a program for the community because the skills that we give our students carry over into their everyday lives of making them more effective, more independent, and more responsible for others besides themselves. We encourage them to give back to the community. Ready, Miss Rachel? You're looking good. Physically, it's benefited her in that she stands up straighter. She's more balanced than she used to be. Nice steering, Rachel. All in all, it has just really benefited her because it's made her a lot more self-assured and things that now she thinks she can do that she couldn't do before. She did pretty good at the walk though, huh? Yeah. Today? She was good, you rode by yourself. Yeah. We've seen a lot of wonderful benefits come about. The sense of coming somewhere where you're supported and where your, your disability sort of disappears and you're able to experience the freedom of being on a horse and moving.
AQX currently only owns one horse. All the other horses we have are volunteer horses that either the instructors own or other community members own and allow us to use. And we are so thankful for that. We struggle with having to transport our equipment to two different arenas and that takes a lot of time away from teaching and instructing. Running a program like Equestrian Crossings or any horsemanship program is an expensive venture. The fees that we receive from our students in no way covers the cost of our program, not only to maintain it, but also to grow it. We are at capacity for our students. In one local school district alone, there are over 600 special needs students, and we're only reaching you know, a couple of dozen at a time. The need is there, the ability to grow is unlimited. And the way to do that, though, is to bring in sustainable funding. Over 75% of our funding has to come from donations and from grants to gain our own facility, to bring in more professional and trained instructors, and to bring in more high-performance, high-quality horses. More people are becoming aware of the benefits of adaptive horsemanship and we really are a place where people's dreams can meet opportunities.